Hey guys, Jason over to Yu-Gi-Oh! Opening for you guys. This is a value box that I found at Target, and I have, I've never seen this before. It's huge, but it only contains three Legendary Duelist packs, which might be scaled, because, you know, it's, there's no guarantee foil. Uh, five foil cards, which, if you shake this, it sounds like they're loose, so I wouldn't be surprised at the damage. And then either one starter deck, one structure deck, or one special edition. So this costs $20, which I think is... Quite a rip-off, considering, you know, Legendary Packs don't go for that much at all. So, I'm going to take the L and open these up, and let's see if it's worth it. So, another thing that also scares me, it looks how easy it is to open. Oh my goodness. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can open this without damaging it, but let's just rip it open. So, let's see, are we actually going to get it? It's going to be all down to the structure deck, or unless we get really lucky in the Legendary Duelist Packs. So, let's see what we got here. Wait, what? Oh my god, oh, yeah, these things are Ooh, a Raid Raptor. Alright, so what a pack did we get? Alright, we didn't even get... Alright, that's weird. We got Metal Raiders and two Legend of Blue Eyes. What? Alright, maybe that's a decent deal, because, you know, these are like $7 a piece if you try to buy them singly at uh, Target. And then, what is this? Alright, so structure... Alright, so we got uh, we got a Raid Raptor XYZ, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, what is this from Shiv? Uh, what is this from... The Secret Forces, the Jin Decider of Rituals? Necro Gardena from Secret Forces, Super Quantum, Green Lair from uh, Wing Raiders. This might actually be a good one. I don't know which one's a good one. And Gashiki Vision from Secret Forces. Really weird. And our starter deck is... Oh, it's a starter deck. Oh, no. All right, let's see what's in here. I don't know what starter deck this is. I think I, I, think I got this one before in some random thing. Uh... Yeah, this will be interesting. I was hoping it would be a structured deck. So, Transcode Talker, Widget Kid, Synet Recovery, Tempestag. Uh, looks like mostly bulk to me. <laughs> so, I that looks cool. Uh, Cyber Dragon, that's okay. Uh, Battle Fade, Battle Fader and Swift Scarecrow. I remember when those were like the, you know, the OP cards of the day. Uh, Synet, Mirror Force, alright, so it doesn't look like much. Oh, Link Karibo, that's like a dollar. <laughs> Yeah, a dollar. Alright. Ooh, a dollar. Alright, let's open uh, Metal Raiders. Let's see what's in here. So these are prepackaged by the Fairfield Company. I have not had good luck with Fairfield. I think there's two companies that stock Yu-Gi-Oh! But I have had almost no luck with Fairfield. I thought this was in Legend of Blue Eyes. Weird. Uh, the Battle Guard, Dream Clown, and uh, Bladefly. Oh, that gives me nostalgia. It's heavy here. Jellyfish. It's just jellyfish. It's just a plain jellyfish. Uh, ultimate monster jellyfish. All right, let's see what's in this Legend of the Boys pack. Uh, Frenzy Panda, Red Medicine, Spirit of the Harp. Oof! Wow, those are all. <laughs> I forgot it's like no effect monsters, and uh, I don't think there's any effect monsters in Legend of the Blue Eyes. This was before its time. Uh, Teach Dragon, stop defense. Ooh, we took the huge L. Oh my goodness, that was bad. <laughs> Wow, I think we only got like maybe three bucks in value out of all that, if I'm not mistaken. So here's the second one. Wow, that was, that was horrendous. I didn't want to buy these too, but I was like, I've never seen these before, but I was like, I knew I'd be taking the biggest L on the man. Oh my god, is that a legendary dragon deck? Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. God, these things are warped and damaged. <laughs> I can't even get this last one. Alright, come on. Get out of the deep Alright, uh, oh my god, I think we got a Legendary Dragon deck, which is crazy. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got, um, Secret Gardena. So that's Secret Forces. What is this? Uh, Lunalite Dancer is damaged on the corner. Uh, Aqua Story something. I don't know what that's from. Gashiki Vision and another Quantum Lair. Man, these are warped. Like, you really couldn't put these in sleeves? <laughs> and our packs are the same. But we got, uh, what is this? Yeah, Legendary Dragon deck. This is expensive, I think. I don't know which one's the most expensive, but a lot of cards in here are really skyrocketed. So, I mean, they're probably gonna reprint this really quick. I wouldn't be surprised. But let's see what we got. So this is worth it, because there's some cool stuff in here. So we got Dark Magician Dragon Knight, uh, Apprentice Illusion Magician, that's cool. Ooh, Dark Magician Surf Scrolls, Eternal Soul, Magical Navigation, that's cool. Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, of course, Rogue. Oh, they give you three Dark Magicians? Huh, interesting. Uh, another robe. Oh wow, they give you like almost everything you need. Three of heavy copy. Legendary Knights. Breaker. 
Uh, Dark Magic Curtain, Illusion Magic. Uh, I have Tamias. I think this is like five bucks or something, if I remember correctly. Same thing with a Claw. I think Claw is five, unless it was the foil one. A lot of duality, that's a good one. Crush Card Virus. <laughs> oh, Fusions. I forgot about these. Uh, Dark Paladin, Amulet Dragon. Uh, Doom Virus Dragon, Dark Magician Girl Dragon, Tyrant Burst Dragon, Mirror Force Dragon, Time Machine Hammer, Rocket Cannon. Alright, so a lot of cool stuff in that. So that alone's probably worth it. But still probably taking the L, so I don't think that's $20 worth of stuff. So we'll see what happens. Legend of Blue Eyes Forest. Oh, we got a Dark Hole Super Rare. Alright, so these aren't scaled or anything. That's nice. Dark Hole Super Rare from Legend of Blue Eyes and a Hain Hain. Yummy. <laughs> Man, that is so. <laughs> so much classic old stuff. Alright, next pack. So, overall, I'd say these are probably. Yeah, these are definitely not worth it. Even with probably one of the best decks you can possibly get, I just don't see how you can make your money back at all. Stop defense. And then you get the classic packs, which are nice for nostalgia, but if you're looking for anything like to play, it's not really that great. So I don't think I could recommend this really, especially and then also the five foils. Like even if you were to get a good one, they'll probably damage Castle Dark Illusion. That's cool. You get Tech Book and Face Trap. <laughs> a stim pack of that one. Paralyzing Poison and Bakuri Box. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, overall would not really recommend it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos, and I'll see you guys next time.